Hi, my name's Nate Canny. I'm 27 years old. I'm from New Windsor, New York. I'm racing for the FMF KTM off-road team in the GNCC series in the XC1 Pro class. We're five races into the season so far, and I've had some good races and some bad. And uh, this past weekend, I'm coming off a uh, third-place finish at the Loretta Lynn's uh, round five of the series. And uh, now I'm just back home in New York trying to get everything back into the routine and get everything ready to keep the, uh, keep the improvement going. And, and looking forward to, you know, obviously doing better in the, uh, the rest of the season and getting a lot more wins and podiums. Being one of the riders in the series that's uh, from New York or from further north than a lot of the other pro riders, uh, some, in some cases it helps me a lot because you know when, when the series heads north I'm a lot more accustomed to the, the dirt and the terrain that we ride. Over the years it has been a challenge for me to, to get used to the tracks that we have in the south just because the, the traction is, isn't what I've grown up being used to and, and riding in. But, um, but being you know, being from New York, and and of course now I, you know, I've had the choice where to live, and I've ch chosen to settle down here. Um, you know, it's for a reason, and it's because you know it's a it's a good atmosphere. There's a lot of good people and hardworking people, and uh, you know I get to step, take a step away from the racing when I'm not at the races, which uh, keeps it fun for me. For this year, I uh, chose to make the full full time switch to the 450. Um, after last year, I rode about half the season on the 300 and then switched to the 450. And, uh, you know, I get a lot of flack from a lot of fans because there's a lot of two-stroke fans out there. But, uh, you know, everybody's pretty understanding when I, after I can explain to them. But the, the truth is that now when the, uh, when the quads are done racing on Saturday, there's just not that much dirt left on the track. And the four-stroke is, you know, one of its best, uh, best assets is finding traction where there, where there isn't any. And, uh, you know, like I said, when the quads are done, there's, there's just not much traction left in our tracks. And, of course, they're really rough. And the four-stroke seems to be a little bit more stable and tractable in the uh, slippery stuff. So that's the main reason why I've uh, chosen to use the 450 full-time. I have to say, though, if I were racing locally, I would probably still use a, uh, a two-stroke just because the, you know, the dirt is a little different and the courses are a little bit tighter. And, uh, you know, I can take advantage of the, the type of power that that bike uses. You know, the fact that I've switched to the 450 doesn't mean that I'm, uh, doesn't mean that I'm done with two strokes. I think I'm just as much a two stroke fan as anybody out there is. And at this point, you know, it's a, it's a career decision and I have to ride the bike that's going to best, best to bring me to, uh, to a championship. Uh, yeah, in off road, I think that there's always been a lot of, you know, he said and she said about uh, a lot of the pro guys and what they do and what their programs are based around. But, uh, you know, at this point, I'm, I'm 27. And I'm one of the more experienced guys, and I think that uh, it might be the time that, you know, people might talk about what I do. And, you know, uh, I've never thought too much about the other guys, but I have learned a lot and paid a lot of attention to what I can do to improve. And uh, I think now, you know, I've, I've got the best program that I've ever had.